Hey guys, welcome back to another pauper video. Today, as you can see, we are combining the card that everyone is on about at the moment, all that glitters, along with another colour that not many people do associate with, and that is green. And the reason is because we get access to things like Experiment 1, Carapace Forger, and Wind and Wear. Come check it out. So guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we've got another brew for you, and we are playing All That Glitters, a card that everybody is talking about. This card is everywhere, and we are playing it with the combination of green, and the reason is, is because I really like Carapace Forger. This card is really good, it's a 2 mana 4-4, four, four. it's basically Tarmogoyf Pauper. Essentially, the deck is white based obviously with the eight inspectors which have been proven in boros in jeskai in blue white to have some success we are running ardent recruit again another card that i know walker's a big fan of basically because he gets through a lot of like auger of bolas seagate oracle sunscape familiar all that sort of stuff but we're going to take that one step further because of carapace forger being a 4-4 four four. it is essentially a two mana mer enforcer because you do are able to power through a lot of the damage which is good, and the reason why I, I've got this is from these having the three threes, the one twos, the O twos, uh, and the four fours. Experiment one does get a lot better here. It's usually been a three three for me. Obviously, Ginger Brute it doesn't work with, and the second Inspector, like if you go Experiment one Inspector Inspector, it doesn't work because obviously there's a two two at that point. But other than that, it generally is a three three because it, it's a two two off these tw uh, these twelve creatures. And then it's a 3-3 off Ardent Recruit, Forger, and Enforcer. Uh, it's also a 2-2 off the two Frogmites in the back. <clears throat> but ultimately, there's, it's quite good at getting a 3-3. And then also having the regen is quite important against like Bolts and things like that. So you can get to the point where you just glitters this up. And it's got its built-in own um, protection. Obviously, it does tap if they do, end up regen, if they do end up doing it. But it's still around. So that is the idea there. And then we've got two Winding Ways. Basically, as draw because you don't have the blue, you don't have the thought you don't have the awful mind, you don't have the experimental synthesizer. So that is kind of why I haven't tested it with wind and wear. So I'm excited to see how that goes. But then after that, the mana base is fairly straightforward. It is just four ancient den, four trio tails, four green white bridges, one of each um, blue uh, white green bridge, but blue color just for the sake of it. Really, just might as well make them the same. And then two basic planes. I didn't see the point for a basic forest in for the, the sake of 10 cards. <laughs> Post sideboard, we do have a um, pretty interesting sideboard, I would like to think. So we've got two scattershot archers. Uh, these are to deal with fairies, core gates, um, things like that. There is, obviously, they do do uh, one damage to the ornithopters. So if you do have both of them, they do kill your ornithopters. So it's just something to be aware of. We got four natural states. I did try originally to glamour, but I didn't think the two mana was a bit awkward. So I thought, at the end of the day, we only need to kill glitters and any cheap artifacty sort of thing. It also still hits makeshift munitions, um, journey to nowhere, things like that. So I think I'm fine with this. So we'll kind of see how it ends up going. It might overperform, might underperform, but we will we'll keep an eye on that. And then we've got three relics. For the graveyard based decks, things like that. But I was thinking of changing these two to red lands and getting flare and pain mainly for like moments piece and things like that. But I think three relics might be able to get the job done without making the it doesn't even make the mana base worse, but making a card that's very rarely castable. Then we have two crimson, two obsidian acolytes again for the red base decks and the black base decks for the removal, for the snuff outs, for the cast downs, for the screds, the lightning bolts, all that sort of stuff. I would like to probably consider putting one more each in, but the space is pretty tight. And then finally, we have two Destroy Evils. And the main reason this is here is because Murmur and Mystic is an absolute nightmare. Um, just because your 4 fours just get stonewalled by it. You don't have actual any hard removal. Um, yeah. And it also kills Glitters, which is also another bonus. So that is basically the deck, guys. If you do like this deck and do like to support my channel, please do not forget to like and subscribe, as you should be able to see on the screen right now that we are so close to 1,000 subscribers. It'd be greatly appreciated if you go give us that sub and hit that notification bell so we do not miss an upload. If you want to spawn, uh, check out my content further, <laughs> check out the link in the description, patreon.com slash tsdlmtg. 
And if you are even interested in giving Magic Online a try, please do check out Manitraders for their rental account. You can check the link for the below for the referral link and also my code for 10% off for the first two months. So until then, check it out and I'll see you guys for round one. Hey guys, welcome back. This hand would be great if we had a green source. I do actually think it's... Ugh. People, this is a plane, not even an ancient dead no. That's my biggest concern here. Um, so then we've gone novice inspector and two and don't have the third artifact for metalcraft makes it really awkward so overall i think we can probably do better um i think this hand's much better we can probably bottom the ornithopter here and still have a fair bit of gas going on so we're going to lead on the uh, bridge into forger I would suggest Kalnigan. Well, that makes me want to do the forge on less, but so I'll probably just go bridge, bridge, Thrib and bridge. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, it's a swamp. I thought that was an island. Okay, Gardanos. So let's. Oh. Yeah, I think I want to. I want to lead on Thraben here, then go Forger Recruit Frogmite. So let's see. So let's go uh, Frogmite into Swing for one, which will probably get blocked, and then they'll deadly dispute the plant token. Oh, they don't even block it? Okay. So then we'll go Ardent Recruit, Catapace Forger, and away we go. Right. So again, they didn't really do anything. So let's kind of hope that's a good sign. They might end up crit rats in here. Yeah, so then crit rats for one. It obviously isn't great. Well, it's not great now, but they're making crit rats for a much larger amount the following turn. So overall, I think I'm just going to swing out. See what they do. <clears throat> Block, take, six. So, I guess I just play the Novice Inspector, so then if, at least, I don't really want to play it, but I'm not going to be able to play it next turn anyways. Uh, I don't want to progress the board. <laughs> so, at least I have a second clue token when they do wipe the board here. So, I'll play the land, so that means it can do for three. Okay. Back right, clearly, get a novice inspector. Experiment one. So let's swing out again. So they're going to cast down the four, uh, Catapid Forger and then probably do this for two, right? Or they're just going to take it. Block. Take four, got a nine. Okay, so block and then, oh, block and then offering, okay. So, <clears throat> I actually think I'll, yeah, I want to play the experiment one here. Play the novice inspector, play the ardent recruit. This might be going too ham, but it also means the experiment one here is able to regen from this. There is a way around it if they basically do it for Oh no, there isn't, there isn't, there isn't. Do it for two, then do it for one, right? Does it die to... Oh no, I think if they, yeah, if they did it for two, then did it for one. And wipe the board. But we've still got two clue tokens here, we won't commit anything, we'll literally just send. No black sort, no fourth black source for them. Maybe I should just commit the board, board here, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Ra. Maybe I shouldn't have committed the ardent recruit. Maybe it's a bit too much, but they are quite low here. Sure. So they're gonna crit rats for three. 
Okay, so then we'll remove two counters here to regen. They'll do it for three, got a six. Yeah. Play Springleaf Drum, play Forger. Right. So we have a 2 2 and a 4 4. Two clues to sort of get us back in it, but they can kill this experiment one here. <laughs> we still are threatening lethal though. Not now, but. So we'll see how that goes. Fairly straightforward here. Five for a venue hunter. Okay. So we, again, we don't have any removal, but into the defiles, pretty brutal here. So draw, drawing a springleaf drum here is pretty bad. Not what we wanted. Maybe I, yeah, I definitely shouldn't have. Over, I shouldn't have committed all this. And that's that's on me. So. We'll see what we what they end up doing, but we'll most likely concede and probably lose this game. So I'm gonna put two counters on this to try and kill us as quick as possible. If they have a Titan Blade here, we'll probably just concede. But I guess we could get them with like Ginger Brute plus Colony Garden. Uh Ginger Brute plus Colony Garden, Ginger Brute plus all the Clitters. Then we have the seven, which is fine. Which is dead next turn potentially, but yeah, I think obviously the overcommit was obviously the, the downside here, but I was maybe think relying too much on this experiment one. Thinking it's gonna get the job done. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's just call it there. So we have Obsidian Acolytes. I don't think we want Relic. I don't think we want this either. I think we probably just cut the two frogmites. Yeah, two frogmites for two obsidian acolytes seems fine to me. So let's see if we can get this game. One lander. Pap lander as well. Does maybe we can cast experiment one in a novice inspector. But it's a bit slow. A bit slow for what we want to be doing here. White sauce. We do have the Acolyte though. Um, if they mult a 6, I'll probably keep this. If they keep 7, we ship this back, I think. So they kept 7 here. I think we end up, end up going to 5 here. Again, no green sauce. It's pretty brutal. I think we do this right. It's probably best. And keeping the Carapace Forger just for the upside of potentially hitting it is probably pretty good. Uh, we lead on Ardent Recruit because it hits for the most. Even though they're going to lead on Colony Garden. But it means that we can go Ancient Dent Raven and then it's active. Tree of Tails. Mm. If they lead on Titan Blade though, that's pretty bad. I guess we go Thraben into Ancient Den and still just attack. I know we don't get bigger damage next turn, but I also think it's just a little bit better just to play around Titan Blade here because I'd rather sacrifice the Thraben than the Carapace Forge or all the Arden Recruit. And that's shot. <laughs> we get hit for four here. <laughs> do 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 do. Ornithopter's not an awful draw. It does allow... Give me some more fodder, really. But not ideal. Oh, ideal. Wait for four. Do they block that? Yeah, they block that. Fine. They want to hit for eight. Hopefully they don't have a... Okay. Using them Colony Gardens as a... I'm gonna sack this. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Whee! 
Maybe we should have attacked with this, even though it doesn't matter. But I'm assuming this is going, yeah. <clears throat> Take four, not twelve. And then we're probably going to start down. I'm going to use this to sacrifice the fact that I didn't block this. Double black. Obviously, I don't think this is a good matchup, but I also don't expect to see too often that I need more than two acolytes. I could be wrong. If I do expect to see more, I probably will have more in the board. So. That's a fall. Yeah. Right. There you go. Smile for the camera, lad. Smile for the camera. Okay. Hello. Cycle, that's fine. Okay. We've got no real responses here. Three crit rats and crit rat for two at the moment. They are on 11. Mer Enforcer. Again, I don't think we want to commit this, and definitely have to learn from the first game. We definitely don't want to overcommit this. So, oxen analysis. Okay. So they're gonna block. They're gonna do it for one and gain a bunch of life. Jeez, the life blink there is key on seventeen. Wow. Um. I'm going to do this, I guess. I'm not going to play the Valan just in case. Oosh. See what happens. The Titan blame me here. I'm probably going to concede. Thorn. Okay. <clears throat> Which is Cottage breaking back the Crypt Rats. That's pretty minging. Draw the Crypt Rats with the Monarch. Need a Ginger Boot here. Interesting that they kept the, the, mon the Thorn in as well. Wow. Yeah, just gonna go next. See you guys for the next one. <clears throat> Here we are for round two, guys. Uh, we're on the play. Norlander, simple mulligan. I think overall it's fine. Not too happy about it, but we get to go bottom of the plains, ancient den, ardent recruit, uh, tap land, the raven. Seems fine. A bit tame, but. <clears throat> So we get to go ancient turn, ardent recruit. <clears throat> Red, don't kill this. Ornithopter, eh? This again bolted. Means you went mountain pass. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. So we can just play Enforcer for two here. Boros. Even better. Two, three, four, five, six. Unfortunately, got to pay one, but can't be able to crack a clue. But is what it is. It for one. No cards in hand because we have to multiply five. Can we just... I'm assuming this is normal Boros, but I could be wrong. I... Boros Bully, not Boros Glitters. Limbus. <laughs> Ding. So hopefully this uh, Enforcer can do enough damage. So let's crack a clue. All that Glitters. All glitters is actually reasonable here. Because um, we can basically try and get it on the either on a pop drift for tap out, or we can get it on the Mer Enforcer around a bolt, hopefully. Synth. 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 Into synth. Totally fine. Tap land. Great Thanos. Okay. So we'll cast this because <clears throat> it makes this a 2 2. Okay. 
to crack this now in case I draw an Ardent recruit. Guard Blasters. Yep. Mulligan to Oblivion here is not helping, but we are still getting in some early damage. We do have a Glitters here to kind of push the the You're Gonna Die button, but hopefully we get there, but we, we will have to see. Got Skyfisher, sure. Found Synth, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, Wedding Invitation, so they are the Glitters variant. And just still holding up Bolt. And four, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's Mer Enforcer. This puts a regen count on this, which actually means if this resolves, we can actually glitter this. So they have to have a bolt here. No, but, well, the regen that's fine. Bolt goes off, at least it's then glittered up. So we don't get to attack this turn, but other than that, we uh, we have a 9-9 and a 4-4. So they've used Bolt, Galv, Blast, Bolt in the top uh, 13 cards. <laughs> 17 cards, even. Obviously, much further through our deck than we are. Glintork. Bouncing the Synth, I'm guessing. They're on 10, so. Want to get to the point where at least this is a 10 10. I would like to draw something. But this obviously won't get a counter anymore, which is a downside. But also, it's pretty much. They would have to double Galv Blast plus a Bolt or triple Bolt it. But, well. Double Bolt plus Galv Blast it. To kill this. Or block double Bolt or something like that. Yep. I guess all they could block with their glitters the up guy, too. Five cards in hand. So we're going to swing Mer Impossible. This is a 10 10. Uh, four, five, six. I don't know why I tapped that mana, but okay. I can't count clearly. So swing with this, swing with this, right? I don't see the point in swinging with these two. Because they'll go this gets eaten, block, block, take four. So we might as well just attack with these. So they could have another Galv Blast here. Why wouldn't they? The 20 cards through the deck and seen half of their removal already. Yeah. Well, we've got the two Ornithopters uh, to block these. Assuming they don't have a wedding invitation, that is. Synth, sure. All that glitters, there you go. One, two, three, four, five. An eight, eight. <clears throat> so now it's awkward getting through. And like they can double block this and we can trade here. With no counters on. Big Sedge. Three cards in hand though. Going to four, I'm assuming they crack the clue, potentially. But it is a 9 9. Same as ours. A batter fist, so it's a 10 10. So it's bigger than ours. So we need to draw an artifact to be able to attack here. We do not draw an artifact, we draw an experiment one. I'm going to play it out and pass the turn. They are stabilizing, but <clears throat> we're hoping for like something like a ginger brute and then not to have any removal. Can't really do about that. Oh, excuse me. Yep. Motor 5, like, we're pretty, pretty close, to be honest. Just, they're seeing a lot of removal. They've, they've obviously got a lot of fodder for our Experiment 1 interaction. Swing with 1. Uh, I'm going to take 12, actually. Might, it makes it worse for Wind Invitation, but... Yeah, let's go next. Let's go next. Bit of a shame, but... I think we can bring in the natural state, potentially the crimson fleets, and potentially the destroy eagles. So, 
Why in the way frog might seem like the perfect cut. Uh, after that, unsure. Yeah, spirit one all seems fine. Maybe we, we don't need these. Maybe we don't need all four natural states. It's five, so we need to cut a card. So we're just cutting Ornithopter here. Uh, Ornithopter seems pretty relevant. Probably just an inspector, actually. Get rid of Thraben Inspector. This Thraben Inspector has. But we'll try that. Uh, we've got the Crimson Fleet. I think it seems fine. Let's keep this. We can go Springleaf, Ornithopter, Ardent Recruit, Turn 1. Turn 1, 3, 3. And they have a tap land, which is great for us. If we draw a... I don't hate that, you know. I could also put it on here. We just go in here. I think I actually just go in. Hey, the next time we can Thraben plus Acolyte. So they have to have like a revoke for this, or a destroy evil, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's totally fine. So let's add and recruit. Maybe I should have put up the Ornithopter, but overall I think it opens it up to like a bit more removal. So they're going to dust to dust us here. Dust to dust to do lands, I'm guessing. Yep. This is fine. <clears throat> so, hmm, which way do I want to do this? So ideally I would like to play the experiment one first, but I also want to play the Thraven to make this a 3-3. Three -three. So I think I just do that. So in for four, they're down to eight. I can obviously bolt this. Then we've just got two damage a turn. Raven, now this gets blocked. Maybe I should have played the experiment one. We'll pass the turn. Pretty unfortunate that, like, every game I've played so far, I get massively flooded. But here we don't, and then they have the Dust to Dust, the Destroy Evil and the Dust to Dust on three in particular. Like, not only have they found two sideboard cards in their opening hand, like, pretty unfortunate, really. But again, that's the issue with this sort of version. Um, so I'm going to make. Green here, play this and then pass. Can't really do anything. I'm gonna hold up uh, protection, and then I'm gonna hopefully make these a two-two and kind of get through eventually, or pretty soon. No ginger brood, no nothing really exciting so far. So I think not having removal or interaction. Game one is really bad here. So now they've got their sort of free win on tap here. Do they all like glitters? I'm going to bring back the synth, I'm guessing. Which is interesting because they've got a lot of whiffs. Oh no, they haven't played a land, fair enough. I thought they'd played a land. Another wedding invitation. <coughs> That's fine. Let's -a go. Oh, look at that. Another experiment one. Um, I actually don't think I want to play this. Do I? Uh, probably actually. I don't get a draw a card is more my problem, but I think overall this is fine because if once I draw a creature, that's a X two, so not a ginger brute, not the one remaining experimental experiment one. We should be okay, but the big problem is here is this guy. Uh, that all it like literally needs is um they don't really need the wedding invitation, but they do have access to them like, and it's basically one shot right one two three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Another dust to dust, so they can hit these two as well. Wow. 
At least we get to keep our land, but we don't get to keep our green source. Yeah. The fact that the, the first duster just slowed us down. Bolt my face. Can't do about that. <clears throat> Hit for two in the air, that's fine. <laughs> well, it's not fine, but... So I need... I don't even know what I need here. That doesn't make these a 2-2 two -two now because of the dust to dust up the top. I just got F6. This is absolute... The problem is... The dust to, the dust, to dust, like, doesn't usually, like... Yeah, we're just dead. See you guys in the next one. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's see if we can get a win on the board here. <laughs> so, I think this is fine. We can lead on uh, Trey Tales Experiment 1. And then we can play Planes, Novice Inspector, Ginger Brute here with the Springleaf Drum. Or we can even just play that experiment one. Play planes, play spring leaf drum. Tap for white, tap this, play this. These are all two twos. Hit for two. Are we into another Boros player? Or is it white weenie? Hmm. So they uh, cast Journey to Nowhere on one of my experiment ones, which is totally fine. Makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> Obviously, we haven't really got a lot of gas going on here, so. We just double Gingerbread here, probably. Not. And we just cast a Gingerbread. Give it haste. I'll give it unblockable, I should say. End. I'll probably block the Novice Inspector, take three. I'm guessing. So it looks like White Weenie, though. So at least they took it all. They didn't even want to block this. Oh, no, they did block the Novice Inspector. I don't know why it didn't show. Must have been a bit of a lag. So we are white when you're looking at this and we do have <laughs> um we do have the scatter archers and the natural states or some number of natural states against them. We could bring in the relics too, potentially. So we're gonna play the carapace forger, the three three. Bosh. Um I don't even think I wanna attack with this, right? Or do I? Also, I don't really want to lose the counters on this because, uh, no. Is it fine? If the double block, do I just let this trade happen? I'd say so. I think I just let that trade happen if that's the case with the double blocking. Like, I think I'll trade the bugle for an expert one. They don't want to trade that either. Okay. Here we go. Get down to 11. <clears throat> they have a 2 3 with Vigilance, which obviously can get plus 2 plus 2 with the white card or Skyfisher. And then I bounce back the journey. They bounce back a planes. Is this to play another journey? Yep. Journey is the biggest way they can interact with us. Oh, they get rid of this. Okay. I guess obviously the regen side of things is really awkward for them. Can't really attack either. Oosh. Three tails. Let's crack this clue. Make this unblockable. I think if they want to like double block here to trade the four four, I think I'm overall fine with this. Uh, do we probably hit that, right? <coughs> yeah, hit the 2-3 flyers probably best. 
then the 2 3 with Vigilance. Totally fine. I do just really need a Glitters. No drawing this deck really does obviously hurt it. Maybe a band variation is probably where we want to be. Back in the thought cast. Hmm. Most likely. I just really like Carapace Forge. I think the card's surprisingly strong. Got a three forward vigilance. Eek. And then if they attack, we can't really do anything because of the Guardian's Pledge. At the moment, anyways. Oh dear. Another Bugler. They hit Lunark Veteran. <laughs> which they get to play. They get to hit us for. We just double block here, kill it. Hang on. No need to take unnecessary damage there to kill the 3 3, I'm assuming. We have a 1 2 that sort of blocks this. And this, and then we just can still hit him for two. Or just more than two. Rah! So they're on one now. And they've already used two. <clears throat> Now I bring back a journey here. Bring back a journey. Give me an experiment one. Got two. I journey this. We need another another top deck of all the glitters because we're on one. That's fine. Another all the glitters or a ginger brew. Land. I'm gonna hold the land. I don't really need to play it. That one, <laughs> and then now I'm basically either hoping they don't have another creature, or... Hmm, maybe I should have played the land actually, but... I don't think it really matters. The Fiends of Foreman, sure. Discarding... This Lunark Veteran being annoying. Always great. Body, sure. Oh dear. Just a little bit too far away. <laughs> and obviously that glitter has been just slightly too short. This planes. This planes was a another ancient den or dark hill citadel or something. So they're trying with both of these. We'll take four. So we're most likely dead here. Well, not one card in hand though. Put yeah. your two. So one card in hand here. Probably. Oh, no, it's, is it a squadron hawk? Do I know what it is? <laughs> Hmm. We can't block this. They got two. Then they gain two. Got a four. Hmm. Rabano to three. Squaddy, squaddy to five. We don't find anything off these squaddies. Oh, Jesus. So we want to block. Probably with the, the experiment one at this point, yeah. So this box here, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. No attacks there, okay. Good block. Here, yeah, save some damage. Uh, do we actually double block here? No, because I'm give pro green. Give pro green, I just lose both guys for zero reason. Oh, 11, am I dead? I'm on 3. It was a Guardian's Pledge. Did not search with this. I'm really confused. All the clears. 3, 6 is that? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll block here, block here. Uh, but then I can't win, right? I'm taking three in the air. I can't. There's no way of me winning. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I think all of these are reasonable. I don't think we need all four natural states, but an amount is definitely an option. Alright. Experiment one's pretty bad with the journeys. That's probably okay. Two scatter shots, two natural states. <coughs> uh, two nat two scatter shots, three natural states seems fine. Obviously, the scatter shots are really good at obviously killing all the squadron hawks, all the battle screeches, all that sort of stuff. That's kind of the idea. Go first. Um, and this is fine. So we get to go Ancient Den, Ancient Den, Springleaf Drone, Ornithopter, Ardent Recruit, Pass. And then we get to Carapace Forger. One, two, three, four. Carapace Forger. One, two, three, four. I'm still a bit off uh, Enforcer, right? I can tap out 4 1, but that's the extent of it. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, seven, another four, four, I'm expecting a dust to dust here as well next turn, I didn't attack with this, so I didn't attack this, sure, celestial flares and interest in one, is what it is, should I attack with the ornithopter clearly, and now I know about it, so I will, just to just my lands. <clears throat> Four is that? One, two, three. Four with these gone. Five. So if we draw a. So if they dust to dust these lands and we draw. Or they dust to dust a Merlin Force and a Green Source, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need. That's fine also. One, two. Three. I have an Alpha and Baron Forcer, but ultimately I think it's fine. There's another 4 4. Are they going to block or not? Probably not, because it is a way for them to gain life. Um, I'm surprised if they were getting rid Obviously, they got rid of the green source because well, they might as well. But they're on 8. We have two 4 4s in play. Do they have another Dust to Dust? I'm assuming they've just got a really reactive hand because. Well, why would they literally just play a Lunark veteran? Well, this is awkward if I obviously knew this card was in sideboards and obviously attacked with the Ornithopter. Yep. So, I don't need to play around it here because I can use it to crack the clue. Anyways, let's attack. Five. Do, 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 do. The good old fashioned um, 12 cards deep, 3 sideboard cards. I'm loving it. Loving it. Sure. Pick up a land. They have another dust to dust. Got a double core sky fisher. Bounce veteran. Play veteran. We're on the verge here of no of the just the three artifacts. All that glitters is fairly reasonable, right? So I probably just all that glitters this. And then swing with both of these. Oh. 
block one or the double blocking. Double blocking, so we kill one. It's fine. Hit green. Crash hard. This is a four six, so it's not. <laughs> um, and they got a revoke existence. The ornithopter. The not bad. Uh, four cyborg cards there. Pretty good going. Ah, and now let the flood commence. We do drew pretty well. I, I maybe shouldn't have put it on the ornithopter there and just put it on the um, Thraben. It was just more you, you, they get an extra turn with the the Lunark veteran block. With the ornithopter so that was the reason for it yeah, i don't want though with two cards in hand and clearly no creatures novice inspector <clears throat> this is actually quite useful because it allows us to go a little bit wider um clue crack ornithopter as well this is actually quite relevant in case they do have another Celestial Flare, I guess. We could have Prismatic Strands too. Hmm. So do I send or not? I feel like sending into Prismatic Strands seems bad. So if we attack all out, they go block, block, take one. But then if they have strands, so like they could attack, leave this, uh, block this, block this, let this go through prismatic strands for green and we lose, right? <clears throat> I think I can't. I don't think I can attack all out, right? Oh, <sighs> I can. Maybe I should have. I don't know. It's so awkward with, with three cards in hand. Um, now all that glitters changes things. Again, I could hit this. Well, that's what I want to do. I think I need to hit this and give them an extra turn in blocking. I'm going to attack with this novice inspector though. Player on celestial player. This is fine. <clears throat> so when they disturb it back, we can obviously kill it with the Scatter Archer. Totally reasonable. Grave Inspector, sure. Oh, God. Yep. Squaddy. Fine. No need to play around a celestial flare, so I'm just swinging the block here. Probably fine. One, two, three, four, five. So I need to play two, right? And pass the turn. Celestial flare. A card that I definitely need to consider, clearly. Uh, revoke existence is not fine, but reasonable. <clears throat> Are they going to flash back the veteran? I think they're dead, right? I don't know if this, does this trigger it or no? I'm going to swing all out. Managed to get there, nice. Nicely done. 
Interesting enough, the natural states would no matter there, they never journeyed anything, but overall fairly interesting, I guess. <coughs> interesting thing is obviously the amount of interaction you've got. We've literally got zero interaction really. So we are at just the vulnerability of the opponent. So hopefully we can get the job done still though. So this is a very, very difficult hand. Because we have a green source as our land and a springleaf drum with no ornithopter. So we'll literally be Treatel Springleaf Drum Pass. Um I'm John, you know screw it, I'm gonna keep it. Um I think these cards have immense upside to sort of get the job done. So let's Ancient Den Ardent Recruit, and then we'll go land tree of tail uh tree of tail springleaf drum. Raven, right? I guess we could go Tree of Tales Spr No, yeah, Tree of Tales Springleaf Drum Raven seems the best And then we can at least hit for three Springleaf Drum Raven Springleaf Drum for three i'm assuming they're gonna take it <clears throat> so we're gonna try and double forger here before but they're gonna just do this right on oh, no, a bugler that's fine i think we we'll probably just double forger here right the one's fine oh ja oh ja We've still got three artifacts, even if they blow up the lands. <clears throat> so, Yugala. They are on a life gain trail, but. Or Skyfisher. In fact, can't really attack. Wish. So, let's go. Oh, ja. Gingy. We're not going to attack with this one, so we'll do that. And then we're going to swing. Swing! Hitting hard. Yes. The double block territory. It's fine. <laughs> we still got another two. No cards in hand, but it's all okay. I have cards for them. They're going to call Skyfisher probably and Bugle. Call Skyfisher bounce Bugler. Vin Diesel going to get it. Four cards. So we're obviously going to play around the Celestial Flare thing. Destroy Evil 2. Return Bugler. Not if they're playing it though. Bugle. Three cards in hand going to four, I'm assuming, because they're going to hit something relevant. They hit a Lunark Veteran. 14. Go. Oh. Ardent Recruit. So let's make this unblockable. Swing. 12. Maybe it's 11, 12. Yeah. Double block again. I'm guessing. Uh, we'll kill the 2 3 player. The army of 2 3s obviously really does allow them to. 8 6. Allows them to trade really well into the 4 4s, to be fair, surprising, surprisingly enough. <coughs> Another Lunark veteran. Go. To play something like a uh, battle screech here be pretty brutal. Oh, Skyfish is also pretty bad. They got a nine. These veterans are really doing some work. We're gonna draw a card into turn. Two, two, threes, so they can trade into this again. Clue, 
string loop drums are not really what we want, but alas, neither is that. So we're gonna play a spring leaf drum. I'll leave this until post combat, but we're at eleven. Still need to try and get through our three threes quite well, like don't like have to maybe triple block or something or <clears throat> Double block here, I'm assuming. Yep. Three, six, seven. Oh, fly is dead. So they the, the, the will then, to get in, to kill these four, four, uh, three threes, they'll have to obviously block this and block with another guy. Battle Screech is absolutely minging. We don't have. Yeah, they're getting two per dude, so they're getting again uh eight here. What did a crack a clue? Crack a clue. Flash it back. That's me in there on twelve. And they're getting for two, which is free. Still think we have to swing here and hope that they don't have a guardian's pledge. Yes. Uh, I think leaving the one one's probably fine. Still in the three three is probably where we want to be. We're gonna be flooded here. Like obviously three lands in a row. Not ideal, but it is what it is. If they have a guardian's pledge, we're just dead right. Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve. 15, 18. Yeah. Just died to a Guardian's Pledge. They swing all out with dead. They just swing out with the Flyers. Swing out with two, three, four of the Flyers. Four of the Flyers. Okay. Yep. Novice Inspector. <coughs> two. Natural stirred, great cyborg card. Swing. We take on one, probably triple blocking at this point. They don't take it, so they're not four. Celestial player. Take one, not seven. Oh, come on. <sighs> yeah, I thought the uh, journeys would wreck us a bit more than they obviously have, and I'm assuming they boarded them out looking at this. We really need a 1 2, like ASAP. Ah, oh, it's pretty minging. As if they have that reactive of a hand. Blue, yeah. Not having any draw in the deck, like these replace themselves, which is great. They're gonna hit for four. <clears throat> we have a turn. So we basically really need to draw it here. Otherwise it's gonna to be too late. So now I I, I can't put this on here because they can get through. So I have to hope to draw a ginger brew next turn, I think. A lethal. Should have played around double. Like I was thinking ginger brew in ginger root still drawing. Yeah. So block here, block here, then they've got a guardian's pledge anyways. Four, five, six. Cool. See you guys for the next one. Hey guys, welcome back. We are here for round four. See if we can get a win on the board here. Um, we can do better than this, basically. A lot of white cards and a tree of tails. Uh, this is much better. Keep this probably bottom at ancient den. Seems fair. I probably lead on Thornlip Bridge. I don't need to play the Ornithopter out right now. Ash Barons or... Oh. 
against Cycle Storm or against fans. I'm gonna play the ornithopter just get this out in case they are something. <clears throat> they are fans. Okay. Cycling the Ash Barons, get an island. Go. One, two, three. Or five. And they discard. Discard them on the edge. Experiment one is pretty nice. One, two, three, four, right? Five. So, this is obviously liable to get snapped. So is the Forger. I guess this is where Vines will probably, would probably shine here. But we get to make this a 3-3 three, three at least. So you get your... Evolving! It's evolving! Take three. <laughs> Rah. And we're still sitting here with a potential I win button, so let's give them a sure. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, 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 snap. Look at my snaps. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, 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 snap. Okay, once a time. Bring back snap. Our okay, Mancer, bring back Snap, Snap the experiment one, and then we add Boomed. Let's snap that. Snap, 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 snap. Into the Oracle or Evoke Mold Drifter or Evoke Mold Drifter plus Ephemerate. We got it all. Let's go next. Let's go next. <clears throat> Uh, yes. I think that's probably about the extent of it. <laughs> I actually think we probably cut the experiment ones first over the frog might here. Just because um, experiment one's really like liable to uh snap a lot worse than the other stuff like at least if this gets bounced and you replay it it's still a 4-4 where if you have a 4-4 experiment one and bounce it you have a 1-1 one, one. it's the same with the journey sort of side of things so <clears throat> i don't think we can keep this hand it's a bit slow but i think overall i think it's fine <coughs> so we go I actually might as well play Thraben first. Thraben in a Springleaf, play a green. Experiment one. Like, it's not perfect, but it's fine. Obviously, we are prone to uh, Dust to Dust, though. That's kind of what we're trying to avoid. Army of Novice Engineers. Three. So I guess it doesn't really matter, I might as well just play double Ardent Recruit, right? Still a 3-3 three, three at that point. Like, we do have a lot of damage very early on, but we are just so susceptible to snap. Maybe it means Vines is probably an option. Yep. I'm assuming that I have a player planes. I don't know. Take it, sure. Sure <coughs> thing. Sure door. Tree of Tails. That doesn't really help me. I'll play this. I'm just going to splurge a bunch of stuff onto the board and hope some of it sticks. We go block, block, I'm guessing. I'm guessing the block here, block here. 
Yep. Yep. Well, no. We're just gonna hope something sticks. Obviously, all our glazes pretty bad against snap. Experiment one's bad against snap. Marin Force is bad against snap. Catapage Forge is bad against snap. We're just bad against snap. What can I say? And here's snap. Look. Wee. Yep. Snap, 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 snap. <coughs> Oosh. Ancient Den. Perfect. So let's send all out. Then we'll play Carapace Forge and Exp uh, not Carapace Forge, Experiment One and Thraven Inspector. Block, block, take three, to twelve. Oh, okay. Yes. Experiment One. If you have double counter as well, it's pretty sad because we can't crack clue. But doubtfully they will. Um, I guess we do this too. I guess we draw something that we can. Nope. <sighs> We're not having the best of luck uh, this time around. I did manage to 3-2 um, with this last time. Missing, just briefly missed out on a 4-1. Against Poison Storm, but um, yeah, this league's definitely gone the complete opposite. I don't think Wind and Way is the choice though. I, I think I prefer the journey over Wind and Way. Not that I've even seen it, but it's like if I do see it, then at least I've got some form of interaction. Like here, I'd just rather get rid of this than draw four cards. Like, and that's best case scenario because I'm not drawing a glitters, I'm not drawing a and I think that's the crucial bit. Like, Wind and Way gets me cards, but it doesn't get me impactful uh, not necessarily impactful cards is the best way i can describe it so like we might not necessarily get it doesn't guarantee me ginger brew doesn't guarantee me glitters um and then i don't i'm not like elves where i can go further <clears throat> let's see dust to dust let's see again okay See what they end up doing here. Another fearful. Snap. Yeah. Snap, 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 snap. Look at this. The don't count it. Okay. I thought I would have counted that as well. Oh well. Wee. I just can't attack anyways, so I might as well just swing all out. We could potentially now start trading with the, uh, the inspectors, like double blocker inspector. Nope. Oh. I'm assuming a... Uh... <coughs> Ephemerate here. Or a ghostly flicker, I guess, for both of these. Yep. Yes. Sure. Do this. May as well do it now. So then I'm 14. And about to take what? Two? Okay. Meeting of, the, meeting of minds. Meeting of minds and modern age in the same deck. That is super interesting. Very Usually very much one or the other because modern age really does lean well with uh, deep analysis. It'll be interesting to see what they manage to cut there for that. If it is just a deep analysis. Mold Drifter. Mold Drifter up to 16, sure. Sure thing. Look at that life total. So the two snaps in. So they've only got two snaps left in the deck. I can't arcane answer because we've got a relic. 
Uh, what ephemerate the ghostly flicker's gone to. These lands are absolutely brutal. Like, we're not even 20 cards deep. And we've seen a lot of lands here. So we have to keep here. So I guess I attack first. I attack all by one Thraben. He's going to block these, block these. Double block of Thraven. Take three. Yeah, this is getting worse. Just getting further and further away from us. So let's pop this now. <laughs> what a perfect card. Oh, God. Yep. The Ghost of Flick is gone. The two snaps are gone. So we need to dig for more snaps if they're going to start our cam answering and stuff. They're just evoking this for life. They're on 19. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <clears throat> oh, and a meeting. Okay. Got a 22. Oh, 28 cards left in the deck. I need to somehow get to a point where I can just kill them very, very quickly. Glitters obviously gives us that opportunity. <sighs> you shitting me. Two, four, six, seven, eight. We have literally eight lands left in that deck. Uh, it's almost pointless attacking with these because they're just blocking with all fours. <clears throat> And now they can have counters. <coughs> sure. 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 And have that their two snaps too. Watch your mind, I'm assuming the bouncing. Yeah. So they have the prohibit if they've got the snaps like this is turn to the least snap or prohibit or anything really nature's chant You know, snap, nature chant. Yep. <clears throat> Absolute brutal. This is not really the matchup for this, is it really, to be honest? So we'll give it another turn, and then he's going to hit us for 4, put us to 14. And then... This is... If the fact that they've got a snap and the snap and a mold drift here, this is just over. Probably going to have a answer here. Lorian revealed, sure. Get back the mold drifter. <coughs> Got nine cards in hand with one white floating. Play the fourth faithful. 
Like ephemera on the mole drifter. I think it's safe to say we're probably dead. I came on to bring back some. Yeah, we're just dead. Hey guys, welcome back. We are here on the draw. We have no lands. If we had one land, this would be a very good hand, but we have zero, so we can't keep it. Um, <clears throat> this hand's very, very slow, very, very bad. Do we keep it though? Because this is a plains, so we'll end up going. It's probably fine. We can bond this. Go planes. I didn't recruit. Planes and recruit into tree, tree tails. Ginger brew. This is just so awkward. Probably should have went to five. Maybe we should have also bombed the Mer Enforcer, not the Arfag land. <laughs> These planes are just so bad. But like again, like if that was a, if that hand there was Dark still sitting on instead of planes, we mulligan it. Or obviously if it's an ancient temple, keep it. Um, yeah. I think Bant's probably the way to go, to be fair. Thorcast is too strong. Uh, Rebuke, probably too strong too. But I think um, Catapace Forger is just... It's pretty good. I, I do like the card. Um, I think it puts less pressure on Glitters and also like Artifact Creeds like Mirror Enforcer, where there's decks that you just want big guys to go sidewards. And I didn't recruit... Carapace Voyager and Mirren Foster do that really well. Black. But I don't recruit. I'm assuming everything is Gardens, which then makes this a lot worse, but. Then it's one Fugly Swamp. And they just don't play a land and pass. Okay. It's not ideal, but things I do. <laughs> and also, no other third artifact. Like, a, the second planes out the deck. Like, our variances league's definitely been wild. I don't think... I think the main one was the... Was, let's... The, the main misplay that I, <laughs> I made was obviously the gardens thing, where I just fed into it, thinking the experiment one would do is a, a lot more work. Um... I'm going to thing this and assume the unblockable on this is going to carry us. One, two, three artifacts. So if another artifact here, we can... Uh... Start playing our Mirren Forces. I'm assuming this is probably going to get cast down or snuff outed. Deadly Shoot. I'm assuming we are against Gardens. Item Blade. <clears throat> Adapest Forger. 5-5 five, five and a 4-4 four, four is pretty good going. I'm going to hit 5. I'm assuming this is getting snuff outed. I'm guessing. Which they take 4 down to 9. And we have a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, well, actually, we don't. We have a 2-2. Two, because two. these two planes are absolutely scuffing us. We have taken the five. <laughs> Interesting. Wonder if they're just mono black. There's like a mono black deck going around that wins with like campfire and ill gotten gains. Daily dispute. I can't do anything. I'm just gonna have six. Hopefully, once you get there, but the deck full of removals probably gonna be able to kill both of these. What? They don't. Okay. So we want to bring in these two. Don't think we want natural state. I just think we probably could a glitters a frog might. All it is. You guys, welcome back. So we actually finally have the wind and wind hand. We only have a one lander, but we also have um acolyte plus glitters. Um, we do have spring leaf drums. So I'm gonna keep this. It's a bit slow, but I think overall, I think I'm fine with that. If we draw another land, it's obviously golden, but. <laughs> 
is what it is. Swamp campfire. Okay. Now we inspect a good draw as well. Hmm. Probably laid on uh, spring leaf drum into then the turn after if we don't draw a land experiment one novice inspector seems reasonable keeps our creatures a bit from tithe and blade fully explosion like things like experiment one um <clears throat> yeah so it goes so but this makes me think that it is the mono black version with the campfire and the ill gotten gains as a wing con so we'll see how we get on we draw a tree of tails it's actually a really good draw so we've got spring leaf drum. Uh, experiment one. The novice inspector. Three, four. <clears throat> so we can go obsidian acolyte here. Or if we draw land, I think I would go obsidian acolyte. Personally. But if not, I think we just wind them way here and then attack. And the reason is, is I want to put the all acolytes on the acolyte so they can't drown in sorrow it. But I also want to get my experiment one, experiment one to be a three three, so it is better than drowning sorrow. I don't think they'll most likely keep it in, but there is a chance. And also, it's just straight up uh, <coughs> gardens here with the troll and the. Haunt in my but whatever. Spring leaf drum. So I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna wind away. Wind away for creature. We draw two novice inspectors. A player one. Inked. So we don't get to I maybe should have actually spring uh cast the spring leaf drum and attack for two. So, two, three, four, five, because it still accounts the artifact count, but gives us more mana next turn, which is kind of what we want. So, if we draw a land here, I can't go acolyte into glitters. Hmm, interesting. We finally managed to take the two here, and then they gain two with the campfire. <clears throat> Two gardens decks in the uh, yeah. yes 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 two gardens decks in the uh, hole. <coughs> I definitely should have played the spring leaf drum. I'll have less mana as well. Um, I'm actually just gonna play both spring leaf drums. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll play this, and then I'll get to play this. So this is uh tide and blade protection. And then, hopefully, hopefully the Acolyte should be enough to Acolyte plus Glitters. I'm surprised they did actually keep the Drowning Sorrow. Like, don't go wrong, it's not awful, but it's not, like, fantastic. I guess there's eight Inspectors and two Frogmites, I guess, but... Alright. Like, what is that? There's no need to even be that fancy, but okay, you got it with your one card in hand. Um, I'm just gonna hope that they don't have another drowning sorrow, because this is removal protection, and that all our glitters can go in the acolyte next turn. They just need not a drowning sorrow. I can work around an edict. <coughs> Scrap the bottom. Easy. But I we managed to win one. So I know this wasn't obviously the best league to showcase this deck. Um but I do think we need some form of interaction. I don't think Wind Away is it. Like even there when I did actually cast it, it was very, very mid. Like even if you do hit three cards, it's like you don't hit relevant things. So I could see these four. <coughs> These four going. 
Um, I do still really like the experiment. I do also think one of these planes needs to be like a citadel or something. I think just because the artifact count really does actually scarper us. I actually think a citadel and then the other one needs to be a razor type bridge and run zero basics. <coughs> um, and then I don't know what these need to be. I don't know if it should be. If we're playing a green version, like keeping the green in, um, I don't know if it needs to be vines. I have four vines. That is. Got a pump spell. We've got <laughs> protection against removal. Yeah, unsure. Maybe try that. I think I'll probably put another two, two of these in. Natural state was whatever. Like we never really versed an artifact based deck, so I think obviously I'd probably, I'd probably cut one and put an obsidian acolyte in because the red, ver the red versions are the red cat decks. You don't really need the acolyte on time because bolt blast all that sort of stuff. Like it doesn't. I think three obsidian, two crimson would probably suffice, especially to uh, fight the black based decks. And they'll probably rock something like that. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please do not forget to like and subscribe. We are so close to a thousand subscribers. Check out Mana Traders as well to use the coupon in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.